Batteries have evolved over the years from the original batteries where we had to take off the caps and add water every 30 days to the maintenance free conventional type batteries to AGMs and even newer battery type systems called capacitors, large mega capacitors that take the place of batteries in some applications. In a conventional battery, we have to be concerned with venting and also the position of the battery. If you tip it to a side, the acid, the electrolyte solution may spill out. Not so with an AGM. AGM stands for absorbent glass material or mat, and there is a material within the plates that absorbs that electrolyte. So therefore, if I tilted it uh, quite a bit of, a, of an angle, one degree or the other, I'm not gonna have acid leak out everywhere. The other advantage of an AGM is the venting technology. They have what's called a recombinant vent that keeps some of those vapors in the battery, which makes it last longer compared to a conventional battery, unless it's been abused with excessive charging voltage. When the battery pressure rises up above a certain specification due to excessive charging, the higher charging voltages and so forth, then you can start having that recombinant vent open up and that's when these things will start seeing a quick degradation in health and have an early demise. So we want to make sure we charge these properly and know a little bit about testing them as well. They are heavier, they last longer and that's why they're a little bit more money than a conventional battery.